Oh, yeah! Bossy! <laughs> yes, Bossy! He loves it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes, good boy. <laughs> yeah, we shine like stars. Oh, yeah, we shine like good morning, people. It's me, good Holly. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You know those guys in the office? If you ever worked in an office and you go in, like, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, we're going to be on the phones today and we're going to get some sales in. <laughs> You're like, shh. Have a great day, everyone. Yes. And work. Uh, yeah. Give it all you've got. <laughs> Give us your best. 100%. Come on, we're a team. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. It's almost quarter past six, and me and Harris haven't even been asleep yet. We just stayed up because. Why are they? We wanted to. What's it called? Open or close? Close our fast. So we wanted to close our fast. <laughs> um, at, it's at nine minutes past four, so we've done that. And then we thought, well, we're going to take Boss to a doggy beach. Well, it's not. It's called a kite beach, if we can even find the way. Um, but we were told that if you go early, early in the morning, nobody's around, so you can take your dog and it's fine. Uh, you're not, like, and sometimes there's other dogs there as well, I think. Yeah. But yeah, you have to go very early to you're excited, that Bossy? people are not there. So, we thought we'd take this opportunity. He's never, ever, ever been in water before, except for when he was first, I first got him. And he fell inside a pool head first. <laughs> so I've, I'm guessing it might have uh, scared. Fell. Well, basically, I, I was, it was following me. You know, puppies follow you around. He followed me around, and I, and I was walking around the pool. And I thought, let me see. Let, let, letting him chase you around the yeah. pool. I thought, I'll let, let him chase me around the pool and see what happens. I didn't, I didn't think that he'd fall in. So let's just see what happens. And, and, and I, just, I was walking, and I, did, and I looked, I took my eyes off him, and all I heard was go glug. <laughs> I, I, I heard go glug, and I went, what the hell? Another dip. Oh, Whoa, oh desert yeah. safari for you guys. This is, a, I think this is where we're supposed to be. I think this is the beach. Hey, hang on, because look, this is a road now. Oh my oh, god! Shit. Oh, Bussy! Are you okay, Bussy? What is this? Is it a road? Flipping hell, look at this road. <laughs> Get a shot of it. It's a random road. We've been driving through all the desert here. We've come to a road now and then more. Boss is excited, he didn't know what's going on. Check him, grab him. He's like, what the hell? What's this? What is it, Bussy? <gasps> what is it? Hello? Um, yeah, we were told it's a kite beach to come to and we don't really know if we've got the right place but it's nevertheless, like it. it's a beach and there's nobody around. It's not a sunbather kind of beach. No. So, yeah. Hello boss, this way. It's a nice beach, got lots of sniffers. I know, all new stuff for you to <laughs> sniff around at. Oh, well, we don't know. He's not so sure. Good boy! Good boy! Yellow boss. Oh no, he's off. He's like, nah. Yellow boss. Yellow boss. Yellow bossy! Yellow bossy! Yay! Yellow bossy! <laughs> oh, yeah! Bossy! <laughs> yes, Bossy! He loves it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, good boy! <laughs> I know. <laughs> you crying? She's such a proud mother. <laughs> Yellow boss, go back in. Come on. Bossy. <whistles> come bossy, come on. Yellow boss, come on. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Cause it gets a bit deep, doesn't it? Good boy, good boy. Yellow 
Yalabas. Yalabas eh. Yalabas eh. Yalabas, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Bossy. It's all right. Yalabas. Good boy. Yes, yeah, warm. Come in, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see it. You don't remember last time we lost it. Oh, this, this is cool, man. This is like, I don't know what the electric lines are, a bit crazy, but you know. How's it like with your shoes? Is it annoying? Yeah, yeah, you gotta take them off, man. I'm just worried about crabs and stuff. Yeah? Big yacht. Oh, yeah, look at that. Big yacht over there. You can't see it. It's like a lagoon, man. Look at this lagoon. Oh, bro. Bro, you got lagoon, yeah? Oh, look at that lagoon. Bro, is, is that a buffalo? Go on. Don't be scared. Good boy. God, he's definitely going to need a wash after this. What's he? Get him, get him. Good boy. Another plane up there. Boy! Just like trying to rock in the water so it's different out. Aww. Again! Get the boss, come here! Bossy! Come on, get him, get him. Sit, sit! Go! Woo! You're fine. Did anybody else, like when they were younger, the parents used to take um, them to the airport at Leeds Bradford Airport and just sit and watch the plane, or any airport, just sit and watch the plane, like get a drink from the restaurant or cafe, whatever. Like if you, it was a Friday, Saturday night or something and they'd be like, oh, there's nothing on telly. Oh, watch out because there's a guy out there, close by Harris. Um, yeah, like if there was nothing on telly and you had nothing to do, it's Friday or Saturday night, they'd be like, oh yeah, let's uh, go go to the airport, watch some planes go by. It was depressing, man, seeing everybody go on holiday. Sit. What's sit. Good boy. Boy. Good boy. <clears throat> He's coming to you. He's right behind you. Good boy. Go on. Harris is doing it. Good, Good boy. 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 <laughs> Stay with him, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Little baby. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, go. Such a good swimmer. Yeah, bossy. Good boy. Rescue good boy. Yeah, oh god, I love him so bossy. much. Harris, the battery's about to go. Huh? Battery's quite low. Is that what this is in here? A battery on memory card? Okay. All right. Yellow boss, come on. Come on. on. Yellow boss. He likes it now. Good boy. Yeah, <laughs> Woo! Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Yeah, good bossy. boy. Yeah. Remember, he can't stop, yeah? Good boy! Good boy! I'm so proud of you! Well done! Oh, boss, how is that? Is that fun? Good boy! How fun is it? So, as you'll notice, we have a change of clothes and we're still not in bed. Unfortunately. It's now half past eight. Uh, basically, as soon as we pulled up outside the house, one of our neighbours came up to us and showed us a piece of paper that was stuck up, like the entrance on the entrance of the compound. Basically, um, he must have seen it a couple of days ago or whatever, and he's been trying to knock on our door and stuff and get hold of everybody. And it's from like the government, basically, and it says there's some issue, like regarding our landlords or whatever like there's an issue we don't like it doesn't even tell us what the issue is it just basically says that so the battery is about to die but there's some issue with the compound and basically they're saying that we have to be out no is that what the letter well, says well the letter says we have to be out or come and solve the issue or come and solve the issue so us and apparently like five other guys are going to go down to this government place so for the third time <laughs> The camera cut off. We've got a new battery now, so we're good to go. It's now 9.40 a.m. So... No 
sleep yet all night. Sleep no, night. no sleep all night. So yeah, as I was saying, like we got this letter, or somebody saw the letter hung up at the front of the complex thing, saying there's some case going on. Now I've had a chance to read the letter. In fact, I've got a photocopy here. Do you want to see it? So it just says, based on such and such case, which we had no idea about, um, they're going to disconnect the power supply uh, tomorrow. It says, please cooperate and vacate the residence before the date referred above. So they want us to move out tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The only other thing it is, our rent, as we were just saying, has just like expired and we've just renewed. Now, luckily, the check due to leave our account tomorrow for the year's worth of rent so the money hasn't left yet so what we're going to do now or what I'm trying to do is take as much money out of my account as possible it's difficult with daily limits and all this and I can go into the branch and do it but it's um, getting there because we're so busy sorting everything else out like it's difficult to get there but anyway so I need to do that therefore the cheque will bounce, which is actually illegal in this country, but in these circumstances, then fingers crossed, like, it's okay, because how can our landlords take us to prison when he's already got issues clearly going on? He's the one in trouble. So how can he put somebody else in trouble, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, now we're going somewhere. What are we doing? Going to the court thing. We're going to court with these guys, we're in a convoy right now. We're going right to now. court now, we've got a convoy of about five cars. Five One cars. of us in front of us, then another, and then another, and then another. There's two behind us as well. And two behind us, of quite a few people. People have taken the day off work and everything. It's Monday at nearly 10am, so obviously people are supposed to be at work. So, a quick update for you people. Me and Holly have just opened our fast. Well. So, uh, we think we're going to move out of this apartment. Well, we think we have to. Yeah. By the end of the month. Well, hopefully. It's supposed to be tomorrow, but they said because of Ramadan, they're going to try and keep the electricity on till the end of the month, which is nice, I guess. You might mess up looking at man. <laughs> Only because it's Ramadan. Um, so, hopefully we'll go uh, apartment hunting. In fact, I'm going to go up to now and look for some apartments. I haven't even looked yet. I've been sleeping. Uh, it's been a very stressful... I'll be, I'll be honest with you. It's been one of the worst days I've had in a long time today. Just many different things happened because I was trying to deal with this stuff uh, today down uh, in 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 town. I forgot about a meeting I had today with a really important client, uh, which she called me. And she was like, "Yeah, where are you? You're anywhere? Yeah." I'm like, "No, listen." Uh, and I couldn't even like blag it. I tried to blag it. I'm thinking, "Oh yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there in about half an hour." But the meeting was then when she called me. She called me on the minute of the meeting. I was like, "Shit!" So she's like, "You could have called me. You could tell me." I'm like, "Well, yeah, but if you knew my situation, love." You know, you would understand. So anyway, uh, hopefully we'll be able to reschedule it. Uh, but yeah, it's just been a really, 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 very, really shit day, Natalie. Yeah. We're very, very stressed out, both of us together. Very, very stressed out indeed. And uh, I don't want to tell. Holly's told her parents about it. My parents are probably going to see this vlog, but I didn't. I don't want to. I'm going to probably Skype, Skype them and tell them. But the thing is, with me, I don't like to. I don't like to, to uh, worry my parents with stuff like this. Any day we'll be all right, but it's just you know. No, I only tell them I was just chatting with my sister. Like telling her what I've been up to and stuff, so I just voice noted her saying, Oh, this is the situation of today. And then my dad were like, What's going on? So I just literally told him now. Mm. Yeah. It's all good though, it's all good in the hood. You're supposed to go and meet the guys at nine, half nine, so I think you best start getting ready to go out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog him as well and say, You're Sir Mohammed, what's his name? Mah Mahmoud. 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 Faris is the first officer. And Basha. Basha. Don't know anybody else. Um, No, we don't know anybody else. So yeah, I'm gonna vlog them for you. But yeah, man, it's just like you know. I mean, the good thing about it is we're that it's, it it's not just me and Holly alone. We've got these guys doing it as well, same thing. So at the end of the day, we, you know, we're together as a unit. Brothers. <laughs> but it's so bad that these guys, these uh, guys who we re rented the place from, have done us over like this, man. Dodgy bastards, bro. So me and Holly come out onto the street. Everybody's out and about together, like talking. All the people who live on this compound. Now, to be honest, me and Holly have never spoke to pretty much any of these people, but now we're all coming together to sort out the situation. They've called the police as well uh, because there's someone else. This is this is the guy here. 
the guy in the pink shirt. The guy in, this guy here. He's called Ishmael. He's the guy who did it, all the, you know, all the issues and everything. Everybody trying to come to him for it. It's bad man. Well, the police are here now. I'll try and keep you on undercover if I can, but they might not be happy with it. Holly's trying to get tomorrow off work so we can kind of deal with the situation. I found a couple of places which we can move to, which are, which are you know, not, not bad places, so... Inshallah, fingers crossed, things will go alright. I mean, this this is the kind of thing that happens sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't really want to know what to say about it, but, you know, it's quite a difficult time, stressful time for me and Holly. We're trying to stay positive, you know what I mean? Like, I mean obviously, the good thing about it is it's not just me and Holly on our own. Like, you know, for example, our first apartment, we were on our own, so there would be nobody else there to be with us. Now, look at all these people here who are with us right now. All, all these people are together. So, everybody together will be, we're all together trying to sort everything out. And you know the police here now and stuff. And but these guys are bad guys. You know they're Egyptian guys, and from from day one they've been bad guys. So anyway, that's it. I don't know what's going on there because I wasn't involved. But when was, was it, bro? Can you please tell me uh, what's what? I don't speak Arabic. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Can you tell me what was said in there just then? No, no, we want to open case. Okay, Why open a case. Okay, again, because, Ishmael. Yeah, because we want uh, we want to open case. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you open case in the court, must be must be uh, give him the official address. Uh -huh. This people has not give to us the address. Why? Correct the address. Why won't he give refuse? it? He's afraid. Maybe he's making something not correct. Yeah. Mm. Sure, okay. he's making something. Because he knows if we give the address, yeah, then yeah, we can make the case. Yeah, if he yeah, doesn't, yeah. then we can't make so, the case. So we're going to the police station now to make him give the address. Yeah, yeah. Now the police is taking him to the police station. Yeah. We are going now to visit. Make it the case. You yeah. submit a check or something. Yes, but uh, we 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 can't. We took the money. Did, uh, what did, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. 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 Yeah. Now your uh, zero we, balance. Yeah, we have yeah. zero balance. Yeah. Uh, خلاص, okay. Thank but, you, bro. But if you go the bank for uh, block this check or cancel this, is not very, it's not easy. No, no, we just took the money. We just the money. money yeah. yeah, yeah, take the money. But yeah. uh, if these people submitted the check, yeah. it will be finance for you or uh, fine for. Yeah, just hundred dirhams or something. Any two hundred dirhams, something like this. No, so not just from the bank. Yeah, yeah, must be the bank. Yeah. Take the notes now. Yeah. From police station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to the bank. Okay. Cancel the check. Okay, good news. Good. Okay. okay, thank you, bro. I will bring my contract. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. So basically, the situation right now is that uh, one of the one of the guys who was with us today, who went came to court with us today, he's gone to the police station with the landlord Ishmael, the guy in the pink shirt I showed you, and the police who came, and they're going to try and sort stuff out and everything. Basically, the whole situation is that we need the address of the the sheikh who basically owns this or is in charge of or his name is to this, because these guys are so dodgy. These Egyptian guys are so dodgy that we need to contact the, the above them kind of thing and, and th these guys won't give us the details for the guys we need to contact in regards to all this stuff. And basically, obviously everybody knows they're going to stay here for one more month and then we're going to leave. As of the 31st uh, of July um, or the 1st of August, uh, this place is going to be, the power's going to cut, get cut off um, and they're going to, they're either going to, I think they might even just, uh, they're going to, um, I think they're going to like, break down all the walls and everything and just sell them as, as single villas like this one thing here I think they're gonna break down all the walls because at the moment there's, a, there's apartments one two three four and there's four more on the other side apartments yeah I think they're gonna just knock every wall through and make it one like big a big villa for like and then, and then sell there's 12 villas here and it's supposed to be only 12 families like one family per villa it's supposed to be that so, so there's like 120 families living here because they've got like eight to ten families in each villa so they've got like over 120 I think it has 120 or something like 140 families living in this in this place man like so it's um it's basically illegal I think I didn't know any of this stuff but we have been told by these guys over here they're all nice guys I'll, I'll try and introduce to them now but I don't know if they like the camera or whatever but yeah so we're just waiting to hear back it's hot outside today but I can't go inside because I've got to stay out here and see what's going on I want to be in the loop and stuff you know what I mean but yeah other than that um we're all discussing where we're all going to move as well because these all they're all, they're all going to move different places some people are moving to Reem Island, some people are moving to Abu Dhabi Centre, some are moving to Dubai. I'm, I found one place that I really, really think it, it looks perfect. 
um, on the outskirts of Abu Dhabi going towards Dubai which is perfect as well because I'm, I'm always going to Dubai you know as you guys know I'm always in Dubai and, I'm in, and Abu Dhabi is not from there Abu Dhabi is, might be a bit of a longer drive but I'm in bang in the middle of Abu Dhabi in Dubai but it's still classed as Abu Dhabi which is good it's perfect it's absolutely perfect man. so I'm gonna have to move there if we can anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna call them guys tomorrow and try and get sorted but anyway I'll try and introduce you to the guys this is this is Basha, my neighbour. I only met him today. But hey man, after one year we met because yeah. of these problems. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are my personal videos, so if you can. Oh, okay, you're on Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself, bro. And the Lisa compound is the worst compound in Halifa. I'm leaving this place for good. <laughs> Me too, bro. I'm the loser also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm making a record, yeah. Did you renew? Did you renew? Yeah. So where do we move? Yeah, exactly. I think that place I mentioned, I think maybe I'll move there. Yeah, it's good. I, I only found it today, but it looks okay. It's far, right? You know someone who stays there? Yeah, I have a good thing. Oh, cool. He, he's, he's satisfied yeah. of uh, the pen. He's happy with it. Through there is a service yeah. card. You're working with. I'm not so sure. I'm, I Hello? do my own media company. Ah. Yeah. So you have a problem with that? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So we're over at the police station right now. Um, basically, we've got to go uh, to. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, leave me on it. So basically we're at the police station right now, trying to sort everything out. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step what's going on because it's just long, but I will uh, keep you posted in the next few vlogs on what's happening, where we're going to move to, and uh, and the whole thing. But, you know, uh, no need to worry, no need to stress out. I don't know you will anyway, but in general, <laughs> in general, uh, we're all good. And uh, and uh, this is just part of life, I suppose, sometimes you get done over. Um, luckily, and I feel very, very, very lucky indeed, thank God, these guys didn't get, they haven't taken my money for the rent and gone, fl fled the country, which I could have done. It's happened before many, many times over here. People have taken your rent money and they've gone and you can't find them. How are you going to find these people? You can't find them. Sometimes they don't even use a real real name. Sometimes like, like this guy, this guy uses Ishmael and nobody even knows his surname. And uh, you know, how you can't just go, oh, yeah, this guy from Egypt, his name is Ishmael. And uh, that's it, he's a dickhead. Uh, find him, please, yeah? They can't find him anyway, so. So yeah, we, we, me and Holly and other guys all, over here, some, some of them have already paid and they're hopefully going to get the money back, but you know, like me and Holly, we haven't paid, um, we've still got our money and everything, so it's just lucky, because can you imagine if like, this guy took like 50,000 dirhams and just did a, oh, 6,000 dirhams and did a runner, mental. Hey, I want to be in the movie. Come bro, say something. <laughs> this is this is Basha, as I said before. Again, hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go how on. are you guys? Bro, shut, tell them what's going on, bro. Uh, it's a long story, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we are doomed. <laughs> <laughs> we're on this, this is where it's we're been six tonight. years I'm living in this country and still I'm having this kind of problem. So yeah. it's a good sign that I'm leaving this Khalifa A area yeah, yeah, yeah. to a better place so I will not have this kind of problems with police or with the owners, landlords. And uh, but thank God I met my friends. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We look, 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 we're all together. You are living just opposite my flat. <laughs> After one year, I didn't meet After this guy. One year, yeah. But seriously, you don't remember me? Don't I, you remember I, I, me? Yeah, I saw, I saw you, but we never spoke before. Yeah. So I, I see everybody walking around, but I never speak to anybody. We should have had a problem. Yeah, yeah. just the opposite one. Yeah. yeah. Opposite, yeah. With the number one flat. Seven. I see you walking in out, but never and everybody else never spoke to anybody. And now, and now, look, 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 look now. Everybody speaking together. Just one. Which one? Mahmoud? No, the one that lives below us, that used to live below us. Is it Faham? Oh, I don't know his name. Oh, no. Fa Faham, maybe. Yeah, Faham. Anyway, bro. Um, yeah, uh, the only good thing here, like you can see this circle shaped building, which is <laughs> in Discovery Channel or National Geographic, which is just like a circular shaped building yeah. we have. That was the only good thing here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, and the airport's close by. Also. And it's close to Yas Island and Dubai. Yeah, Yas Island. And nice. close to my. Actually, there were so many good things. Yeah, <laughs> but like the 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 bads outweighs the good, so now we have to move somewhere else. Exactly. So, so we yeah. don't have the same problem again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And all of us will go to Banias Banias Court. 
Okay. Okay. To get the permission to open a case. Okay. One so of us. Only one. No, no, no. All of us. Everybody? All of us. Okay. All of us. Uh, for but for the police case, any three or four is. Can enough. we make it earlier? At thirty. They open nine o'clock. It's Ramadan time. We will go there we'll to be there nine o'clock. We are going to be the first customers. All right. Because today I lost all the day and I'm so stupid, no, no. the doctor was so nice, I didn't say give me two days sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am an idiot, yeah. No, but you can tell him, he can extend it to you. If you go to him, you can, he can extend it to you. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Mahmoud, say hello to my videos. <laughs> Video <day. laughs> Just where? Ali is inside the compound. Really? You saw him? But yeah, he came. Right. But nothing to do. Ah, he knows everybody left and he got inside. Yeah, but nothing to do now. How did he bring him here to the?